Hey Drifters, welcome back to another episode of Catch My Drift. My name is Adam and this is my wife Rachel. Hi. It's kind of an exciting trip that we're doing today. We're back at the Niagara Whirlpool for the first time in three years now. And uh, the last time we were here it was a very special occasion. It was where I actually proposed to my wife. So we're excited to be back here and we're hoping that this time around we will hook into some decent fish but we'll just see what what we can uh, hook into When planning a trip to the Niagara Whirlpool, there's some things to keep in mind. Number one would be make sure you plan to bring plenty of water and food that's going to give you energy because hiking down the gorge is one thing, hiking back up at the end of the day is quite another. There is a lot of hiking if you want to fish around the river and want to venture along the trail system there. They do have a pretty good marked trail system so I do recommend it. There's also a cable car that goes across the Niagara Whirlpool, which is a pretty cool attraction. There's also helicopter rides, and there are jet boats that actually come into the Niagara Whirlpool as well. And I was kind of surprised this time around because I had never seen them actually come right into the Whirlpool before. And uh, I usually only just kind of saw them come in around the edges a little bit. remember them coming in in here before. Usually they went around the edges. Wow. Then later on in the day I was just wanting to do a few more casts before we had to leave and I, I almost stepped on this massive snake. I think it's a water moccasin, I'm not entirely sure, but if somebody wants to correct me out there or leave a comment in the comment section if you know what this snake is. We had a pretty slow start at first, I will admit, and we tried many different types of lures. What actually started to work for us is, believe it or not, just a trusty night crawler. So I was just doing kind of like a little drop shot with a dew worm there and caught this little smallmouth bass. It fought pretty good in this current. One more look there. We'll let that guy go. Ooh, Another fish. Nice smallie. Ooh, a nice smallie. Very nice. That's a nice little smolly right there, kind of chunky. Yeah. All I was using was just a white jig head, kind of set up like a drop shot. 
So I had it above, and then I had two split shot, probably about a foot down below. And I had a just a night crawler, a chunk of night crawler on there, not even a whole one. Rachel's got a good fish on, I think. Have you seen it? Okay. That is a sucker. <laughs> Rachel sucker. Woo! Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it looks so cool. You want to put it back in the water? Sure. Try. Wow. Oh, <laughs> hey, you didn't get skunked today. Yeah, I didn't. There it Woo, goes. It go. oh, it's so well done. Cool. Another fish on for Rachel. Good job, honey. is too excited to catch another fish so here's her fish that she just caught now nice, one. nice smallmouth bass out of the Niagara Whirlpool they all do the same thing they, they all seem to the yeah. yeah come right in that was so fun good job honey all in all we may not have caught a ton of fish but my wife and I had a blast catching the smallmouth bass that we did and the sucker that she caught as well. And we just loved being there again because it had been three years since we were there last. So it has sentimental memories tied to the whirlpool for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Adam from Catch My Drift. Thank you for watching.